What's up guys, Tom here, Quads a Month, and I'm making this video because I have some really important information for you Hubson owners about your Hubson factory batteries. Hubson has, if you've bought a Hubson product and have a Hubson battery or you've bought stock Hubson replacement batteries within the past year and a half, your battery has a voltage regulator in it. Now. What the voltage regulator does is, is if it senses a high amperage draw, it goes into protection mode, which shuts the battery down. Now, a lot of people might think that's a good safety feature, where, you know, you don't burn out your ESCs or you don't burn out your motors, but it can cost you your quadcopter. If you're flying with the stock batteries and you're using aggressive propellers or you're carrying a gimbal, or you're, do, you're flying in manual or altitude hold mode and the protection becomes active, your drone's gonna fall from the sky. And where it lands, you're probably not gonna be able to find it because your coordinates aren't gonna be exactly where it's at. Because when the battery shuts off, the coordinates stop updating. I'm gonna show you how to determine whether your factory battery has a voltage regulator in it or not. Again, like I said, if you purchased a Hubson product within the past year and a half, chances are your battery has a voltage regulator in it. So I'm going to get some stuff, and I'm going to show you real quick how to test your batteries. What you're going to need to test your batteries is a jumper cable like this. This is from an IMAX charger has an EC2 plug on the end, banana plugs on the other end. Um, we're going to use this to short out the main lead on the battery. You're also going to need one of these, which is a voltage tester. You can get these for like 99 cents. Um, basically, it tells you the cell voltages inside the battery pack. You, uh, take it and you would put it on here just like this. As you can see, it displays the individual cell voltages. Now, what you're going to do with your cable is we're going to use this to short out the two terminal leads along the battery. Now, I recommend you do this outside as lipos are very dangerous and you may start a fire. So you want to keep your leads away from one another and you want to hook them up to your battery. So now that we have our battery hooked up, our leads are hooked up, we're going to take our two terminal ends and we're going to tap them together, momentarily tap them together. Do not hold them together because if your battery does not have a voltage regulator in it, you're going to do more damage and you could potentially start a fire. So we're going to go ahead and tap it together. As you can see, our voltage tester is gone out and our battery has gone into protection mode. Now I can disconnect this reconnect this and as you can see our voltage tester is still there's nothing here now there's there's no power there now if you disconnect your load which this was our load and hook it back up as you can see we now have power again so this battery right here has a voltage regulator in it. This is a stock Hubson battery. Now this is an aftermarket battery. This is from Tenergy. Uh, the item number's right there if you wanted to purchase it. This is a exact this is the exact replacement for this battery. The performance of these two are about the same, except this one does not have a voltage regulator. So we plug this in. As you can see there's our voltages. We're gonna plug our test lead in. Test lead's plugged in. I'll try to get this in the video for you guys. Now we take our leads and we tap them together. As you can see, tapping them together. And our voltages are still remaining on our voltage tester. 
So, this battery does not have a regulator in it. Now, last but not least, I have this battery. I originally had thought that this battery did not have a regulator in it because when I was testing it, it would not trip the voltage meter. What I found was that this battery actually has quite a bit of voltage in it at eight, almost 8.1 volts. When you're testing these, you should bring the battery down to around the 7.4 volts to test it. That way, if it does have a regulator in it, it will trip it. The higher the voltage is, the less likely you are to trip the regulator. As I will show you right now, this battery will not trip since the voltage is high. As you can see, voltage regulator is still on. I mean, voltage tester is still alive, and it did not trip. But when we look inside the battery, that's why it's open. If you look inside here, let's see if I can get it to focus. probably won't focus for me but right there that little bit of green you see that is one of the two voltage regulator boards that are inside this battery now you might be able to take these two boards out desolder and resolder your leads back together and make this battery non-regulated um, but it'll still be a 10 C battery I recommend a higher C battery if you're flying aggressively or using if you're using manual mode or altitude hold mode carrying a gimbal uh, running excessive pitch propellers you definitely want a higher C battery um, this is the battery regulator I don't recommend using it uh, batteries that have the regulator in them you're running your chances of losing your quad I know a lot of people use these on their balance lead just like I was showing you um, in case their aircraft goes down once the battery voltage gets low this will start beeping but if the battery goes into protection mode this is never going to beep this is going to turn off and it's never going to turn back on again until you disconnect it and reconnect it so it's not going to help you find your quad I don't know why Hubson decided to put this protection inside their batteries but I do know that I have batteries from over a year and a half a year and a half ago and they have the the voltage regulator inside them so i just wanted to make this video to bring awareness to it and hopefully it helps somebody not lose their quad um again you need to have a little voltage tester and a battery lead or leads to short out the terminal I'd like to send a big shout out to the guys over at the quads and mods group um, they were pretty adamant about uh, the battery testing and quite a few people tested batteries along with myself um, if you're not a member of quads and mods uh, there's a, be a link down in the description uh, everybody's welcome doesn't matter if you fly a Hubson or if you fly a, 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 J, a DJI who, 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 anybody that wants to join is welcome to join um, if this video helps you out, please hit the like button, and as always, please subscribe. Again, I'm Tom from Quads and Mods. I'm out.